Hi, hello, my name is Michael and I'm starting a series about writing shaders. In order to write those shaders I will use Raylib uh, library. Uh, it's an open source uh, project. Uh, it's maintained by Raysan, uh, whom you can find at uh, Twitter at Raysan5. Uh, the, since the project is open source you can find the source code at GitHub. Uh, it's github.com slash Raysan5 slash Raylib and uh, starting uh, for now it's really not important to download the latest ver version from github just download the version from the site uh, just do it by pressing the red button with download now uh, label uh, here you can donate and i strongly encourage you to do so because it's really well maintained library uh, if you can just press no thanks go to downloads then you will be able to download the installer from each I.O. website. Uh, I already installed Raylib. By default, it installs to the C drive. Uh, what's cool about Raylib is, it, is that it comes with the compiler and text ed editor, so you can practically start writing your programs uh, straight away. You don't have to set up the environment. So basically, if you go to the C Raylib folder, you will find the um, min gw compiler, which is like a Unix compiler made for Windows. Uh, it's a typical min gw for for those of you who know what I'm talking about. It won't come as a surprise what's inside. Uh, I won't be going in deep what's inside. It's really not that important. So. Uh, the text editor Notepad++ is really popular. Uh, in the future we won't be using uh, this editor, we won't be using this whole uh, workflow that is prepared for Raylib, uh, but for now in this video I will stick to it just to show you what it can do. Uh, also you will find the folder with the library itself, so it's C Raylib Raylib. And here, what's important are examples, where you've got some uh, examples of uh, every aspect of the of the framework. And games; those are a bit more more complicated examples. Mm, some of them I already compiled. So, if I start, for example, Space Invaders, it's like a simple game in which you just steer the black box to avoid asteroids bam and I died yeah uh, pretty simple but still really cool in like you don't need that much of documentation because you've got examples uh, but in a minute I will show you the docu documentation of this uh, lib uh, I think it's pretty pretty good okay and except that the important folders are release which are basically compiled libraries. In include files you will find header files mm, and in libs a folder you will find uh, libraries for different platforms. As you can see it supports Android, HTML5, Linux, OS X, Raspberry Pi and Windows. Uh, even for, for Windows it has libraries compiled for a visual uh, compiler uh, from Microsoft and from uh, for min GW. Yeah, you also have the source code of the library here, uh, but we won't be compiling it from source for now, so that's not important. Okay, so uh, I would like to show you how to start any example. So just by opening the Notepad++, you can open an example. Here I have an example already opened, but op let's open something else. Just click this small button here. Mm, go to Raylib examples. Mm, let's choose something. And since we're going for shaders, let's uh, let's see what shaders examples are there. Let's say let's see. Uh, let's pick this one. Post processing. Yeah, why not? Okay, when you open the example, uh, it's pretty straightforward forward to compile it and run because the whole environment has been already 
prepared for you so just hit F6 be sure Raylib compile execute uh, is chosen here and press OK it will compile here is the log at the bottom of the text editor mm, and then it starts the, the program itself so here we've got some post-process shaders and we can scroll through them by uh, clicking uh, left and right arrow so there are just examples of some shaders you can use in 3D mm, this one's pretty cool yeah so basically that's uh, how you run any any example uh, from the Rayleigh library itself just pick anything from examples uh, let's go to games let's start floppy for example and let's just press F6 Rayleigh compile execute ok bam oh what the oh, 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 oh ok I'm bad at that so yeah ok ok Okay, I got it. I got it. I, oh, okay, so it's like a Flappy Bird clone uh, written in Raylib. It's like 253 lines of code, so it's pretty short. It's pretty easy to follow. Uh, I won't be going into like I won't be analyzing this code now uh, because we need to get to the shaders writing. Uh, so in the next uh, next episode I will set up the environment and the environment I want to set up is uh, independent of the uh, notepad++ and the built-in uh, compiler I will be using min GW uh, but the building process will be uh, will be basically uh, will be using escons which is a building uh, solution something like make or cmake but it uses uh, python it uses python to uh, for the make files itself uh, and i think it's pretty cool it's pretty flexible uh, it's used in godot engine for example uh, which is a big project a big open source project mm, so it's a proven solution um, you don't need to know a lot about Python to use it uh, and we'll get, go through the process of writing the make file ourselves so yeah so stay tuned I will hopefully post the second episode soon and yeah thank you for the, for listening <laughs>